This is brought to you by the Electronic Church of God, Arizona. Thank you. Welcome to November 10th, 2007. The Lord's Sabbath. Well, let's get right over into the Lord's ministry. One year with the Lord. Jesus is the way to the Father. John chapter 14, verses 8 through 14. Philip said, Sir, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus replied, Don't you even yet know who I am, Philip? Even after all this time I have been with you, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking to see him? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say are not my own, but are from my Father who lives in me. And he does his work through me. Just believe it, that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or else believe it because of the mighty miracles you have seen me do. In solemn truth, I tell you, anyone believing in me shall do the same miracles I have done, and even greater ones, because I am going to be with the Father. You can ask him for anything using my name, and I will do it, for this will bring praise to the Father because of what I the Son will do for you. Yes, ask anything using my name, and I will do it. Jesus is the visible, tangible image of the invisible God. He is the complete revelation of what God is like. Jesus explained to Philip, who wanted to see the Father, that to know Jesus is to know God. The search for God, for truth, and for reality ends in Christ. Asking in faith. When Jesus says we can ask for anything, we must remember that our asking must be in his name. That is according to God's character and will. God will not grant requests contrary to his con- his nature or his will. And we cannot use his name as a magic formula to fulfill our selfish desires. If we are sincerely following God and seeking to do his will, then our requests will be in line with what he wants, and he will grant them. Do you fear God and keep his commandments? His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. I ask you, do you fear God and keep his commandments? Do you use the seventh day as his Sabbath? Or do you do it on another thing? which nowhere in the Word of God gives you permission. Do you kneel to the cross, a statue? If so, and you want to follow Christ, get down on your knees and repent of these things. Ask God to clear you of all these false teachings. And if you sincerely, in your heart, want to keep his commands, he will answer your request. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close for today, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Produced for you by Forrest Grote. Thank you.